What you doing there? Hey, babe. I'm uh, just getting the stuff ready for this little picnic that we're having. Nice. So what are you doing? Videoing. Are you? Kind of. I can't really see what I'm videoing because it's too bright out here. Got you. So, are you making this for the, for the channel? I guess. I don't know. This is uh, our cute little picnic blanket. Look at the pineapples. So <laughs> cute. <laughs> We Funny know. how you say that because when, <laughs> when we're, we're doing this for the with the the, dog, the cat, you go so soft. Yeah. Like the same way. This is cool. Everything here is Ziploc. This nice. used to not exist when we were kids. Yeah. So picnicking would be a little bit more complicated. Yeah. So basically, where we're at right now, this is Lake Elizabeth. I grew up here in Fremont, California, and I was telling my wife I was telling my wife a story about how I got um, stuck in sucking mud back in a place over behind us called Hobo Village. Hobo Village. Yeah, that's what we called it back as a kid, but it's like a little nature trail that has a stream that runs through it. This is the But the mud in there is like is like quicksand. And quicksand. I got stuck in it all the way up to my leg, all the way up to my thigh as a kid. So I was telling Jen about this place. I was like, you know what? Let's just go have a picnic out there. And she's like, that's a great idea. So that's what we're doing right now. Who's having a picnic. And you know what's cool about it is as a kid, all of this playground equipment was made out of wood and steel and concrete. Now it's all made out of plastic and steel. Uh. But a lot of the structures out here are the same, like the public library, the bathroom structures are the same. Those haven't changed. The skate park and the water park are new. The water park used to be a lagoon, which was just a swim lagoon, which oh. uh, back then was just a cesspool of children's urine, Which is this right here. Yep, that's the water so park So that was there. a lagoon? Yeah, it was a lagoon. It was all fenced off. It used to have these little these little wooden huts where you can buy like an ice cream cone for like 35 cents and buy a Coke for like 25 cents. Oh, cool. Yep. Anyhow. Um, Whoa, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> with the, one of the things that though is that with, with COVID and all that, finding sources to spend time and connect with your, with your, with your spouse. That's something Jen and I have not been doing lately. Yeah, because we're too busy obsessing over what we can't do instead of thinking about what we can do. Right. So this is our attempt to do something that we can do. And if you notice, do. no mask. Unfortunately, because yeah. of our uh, things that we both have gone through, we can't wear masks. And there's some places that allow us to, to be like that, and there's other places that don't. But you know what? The, the main thing is just spend time together, connected, connected together as, as a husband and wife. Over the last couple of days, Jen and I have been reconnecting and talking and spending time together just one on one, and that uh, that hasn't happened. You know, minor stupid distractions, video games, work. It hasn't happened, you know, mm -hmm. and now it is. So, just wanted to share that with you and uh, let you guys know that we're still here. I know we haven't put content content up in a while, but. I'm still dealing with a lot of medical stuff. Um, I've lost 22 pounds over the last about two weeks, um, but I ballooned all the way up to 262. So. Yeah, but you're not that anymore. No, I'm I'm right about 240, but I need to go I need to go back down to like 185, like I was when we met. But medic, some of the medications that I'm on are, are preventing me from doing that. So um, anyway, yeah. that's pretty much it. YouTube, have a nice day. We're gonna enjoy the rest of ours. Yep. Yeah.